best influences for kids that grow up in these environments seem to be people that have gotten out and then come back and talk to them. But there, there has been a very small amount of emphasis placed on taking these impoverished communities and figure out how to engineer them out of the situation. So on that stuff, we totally agree. The first thing you have to do is you have to load the place with police. Once you stop crime, then businesses are happy to invest in those areas. You have to have a reestablishment of faith in churches, right? You need social institutions outside of government that are promoting things like family. One of the reasons you need more companies in these areas is they can offer educational opportunities to kids, internships, deals to go to college and then come back and work for us for a couple of years. You need to provide a safe space for business to work and for free speech to flourish and for education to be valued. You need to go in, you need to make clear to every kid, if you graduate high school, then you will have a shot at college, which by the way is 100% true today. But this all starts with the notion that it is not racist in the slightest to suggest that law and order have to prevail and that law-abiding people should be protected in their exercise of their rights.